Welcome to the Futures Lab. So today's video is going to be quite a short, simple one, nice and easy. We're going to make a game over and you win screen, which will show up if you've either lost or won the game. So first thing we need to do is we need to make a new sprite. So go to the bottom right corner, hover over that little cat face where it says choose a sprite, but don't click on it. Move up until you get to paint. That little paintbrush, click on that. And this is the screen you should now have. So click on the text, T for text, um, tool up in the top left corner, and then type in you win. In the top left corner, you can change what color it is. I'm going to make mine nice and red. You can also change what font it is, where it says sans serif. If you click on that, I quite like the pixel font. Then you can drag your text around as well. Once you've made it as big as you want, make sure it's nice and centered. And there we have our first costume, you win. We're going to rename the costume, the top left corner where it says um, costume one, we're gonna call this you win. And then to make our lives nice and easy, we're going to right click on this costume in the top left corner, where I'm wiggling my mouse now, and then we're gonna click on duplicate. And we're going to rename this costume to game over. And if you select the select tool, you should be able to double click on your text and rewrite it. Although you might need to do a little bit of moving around, changing the size if you want. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to uh, call this sprite uh, we'll just call it the game over sprite for now. Make sure you name it something other than sprite one. And then we're going to put some code into this game, into this sprite. We're going to go to events. We're going to drag out when green flag clicked. And we're going to make it hide. Go to looks, drag out hide and put it underneath. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to events and we're going to drag out when I receive. And you might have when I receive bats move down. Click on that white triangle, click on new message and type in you win as one of the messages. And then we are going to go to looks, the purple category. We're going to drag out show and put it underneath when I receive you win. We're going to get switch costume to you win. And then we might as well go to control, grab a wait one second, and we'll grab a stop all. Now, if your um, text is behind the um, other sprites, then what you can also do, if this text is behind and you want it to be in front of um, the sprites like the octopus and the bat and such, what you can also do is grab a go to front layer and just put that underneath the when green flag clicked, just to make sure that this text is on top of everything else. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to right click on the when I receive you win piece of code. We're going to duplicate, put it off by itself, and we're gonna click on this white triangle, click on new message and call this one game over. And we're going to switch the costume to game over instead. So that's all the code that we need for our game over screen, whether it's you win or game over. Now all we need to do is go through the code in the rest of our game and figure out where we have either lost or won the game. So the first place that we need to go to is the rocket ship. And you should find underneath when green flag clicked, 
we've got a if touching bat then stop all. Drag that stop all away and throw it out and put in its place. So go to events and get out broadcast, put it inside that if, click the white triangle and select game over. You lose. Um, and then the other place we need to go is the Octoboss. So one thing we need to do is we need to look for all the points at which the Octoboss can um, make you lose the game. So that's in the pirate attack and the drummer attack. Look for the if touching rocket ship, then stop all. Drag out the stop all and replace it with a broadcast game over. And we need to do the same. So there should be two of them, one in the pirate attack and one in the drummer attack. And we need to go to the teacup sprite drag out that stop all and do the same thing broadcast game over and then we need to add a way to win this game because i don't know if you've noticed but there's no way to win it yet is there so what we need to do is we need to go back to the octoboss sprite and look for collide with bullet underneath where it says clear graphic effects we need to put an if then. I'm gonna zoom in on this so you guys can see it a bit better. So right, so underneath, so in our define collide with bullet code, look for, um, towards the bottom we've got clear graphic effects. Right underneath that, we're going to put an if then. We're gonna to go to operators, and we're going to grab a less than operator. That's this one here. It's a space and then an arrow pointing to the left, and then a 50. The arrow pointing to the left is the less than. Go to variables, drag out boss health, put it inside the first um, socket in our less than operator, and then um, select, click on the 50 and type in one. What is less than one? It's zero or less like a minus number. So if we ever reduce our boss health down to zero or lower than zero, then we will win the game. So we want to go to events. We want to broadcast, put that inside the if. Broadcast, you win. And then we want to also hide to make sure that our boss hides. Now, here's one interesting thing. If you've got the show, um, have a look um, in your code for where we've got the forever show and collide with bullet. Grab that show and make sure it's not inside the forever. So you might need to do a bit of rearranging. So now what you should have is it should look like this. Instead of forever show collide with bullet, you should have show then forever then collide with bullet. That's to prevent the code from continually re-showing the octopus after we've tried to make it hide. Um, so that seems good. Um, that should be, that should all work. Let's give it a quick test. Let's see if the octopus can destroy us. And if we lose, yeah, game over. Ah, oh, that's just one more thing we might need to do. The rocket ship, we need to make sure the rocket ship hides itself if uh, it receives game over. So go to rocket ship, um, get a show, because if we're gonna hide it, we need to make sure it shows again. Put it underneath one of the when green flag clicked. Go to events, and then drag out when I receive, this is a broadcast, when I receive game over, hide. All right, let's give it one more test. Let's see if the Octoboss can defeat us. Yep, our little rocket ship disappears and the game ends shortly after. And what we'll do is I'll just create a little cheat code that reduces the Octoboss's health. 
and that way we can test it to make sure if it works. So let's try when a uh, space key pressed, shall we? And you win. There we go. The only thing that we might need to do, you can notice that my uh, game over sprite's a little bit off center. So click on that um, game over sprite and then have a look where we've got some of the information about the sprite just underneath the game window and you'll see there's an X. Make sure the X says zero and the Y says zero. Ah, it's not changing for me. Well, what I'll do is I'll put it in the code instead. So let's get a go to X and Y, make sure that they say zero and zero, X is zero, Y is zero. Put that code um, underneath when green flag clicked in our game over sprite. Then we should have it nice and centered when it appears. There we go, just nicely in the center of the game. All right, hope that's been fun, something a little bit easier, something a little bit simpler, a bit shorter. You guys take care, take care of yourselves, uh, be cool, and we'll see you next time.